Hello. Last time we made some changes to the project, allowing for zoom and panning, and also a bit of rotation, which is ridiculous, but <laughs> it's nice to, to have. Okay, uh, now I want to do uh, saving and loading. Let's uh, make the functions. And let's see, let's use uh, some input like the S key and the L key to load. And what we have to save or load are the, obviously, the alive cells. So let's do a uh, for each position cell. Sorry, this is a comma in the board. Uh, if the cell is alive, we want to save it. But where? Obviously in a in a file. So file. Let's call it life. Dot, uh, that or yeah. This will be open for writing. And mm, let's see. We should. We could write in text mode or in binary. I think in binary it will be faster. So we'll use the raw write function, which takes uh, an array of data um, and write it, writes it to the file. So let's write the position dot uh, x and dot y. Oh, I think, no, I think we can uh, write the position as a struct, but uh, wrapped inside an array. Yeah, this will save hmm. and we close the file. Although this is not strictly necessary. Yeah, let's close it. So let's try. Hmm. Let's try this. For example, we uh, draw something and press S. Let's see if we create the yeah the life dot that file hmm. obviously it's in binary but let's let's um, you know what let's write something recognizable something like this let's write that and now let's uh, write the load function which is uh, practically the same but with some important difference like <laughs> the the mode which we open the file and instead of yeah instead of this uh, this loop we need to reinitialize the board signing null to an associative array like this clears the data and then we will make an infinite loop and let's see let's create an array to read and we use the raw read to read the array repeatedly. And let's see, uh, we need to change the cell in the first element, the only element of the read array. And with that, we, in theory, we will read all the data, but obviously we need to exit at some point because the data is finite. So this function returns the uh, slice of the buffer. So we can check if this is uh, equal to zero, we break from the loop. So let's see if we press L. Now we should read the data. Perfect. Let's check it with uh, something simpler, just to be sure like this. We save and then we load. Perfect. Nice. Obviously this uh, only loads from one specific uh, file, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I will add later some uh, GUI to read the name of the file each, each time we want to save or, or load. But for now, it's uh, sufficient to, to be able to save and then load 
uh, the date. Okay, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have some suggestion or question. Please like and subscribe and consider supporting me using some of the links below. Thanks.